Hey what's going on everyone? Last video I showed you the Lewis gun and it was so ridiculously good and so easy to use that I think it is quite overpowered to be honest. In this video I wanted to revisit a weapon that I used quite a bit at launch but haven't gone back since recently. I have faces you know, but don't worry folks I still tank quite often and there will be more of those videos. But this one we are going to be focusing on this gun. Before I get started, I do want to say that this is PC gameplay. I understand some of my viewers are going to be on console and the meta for console is a little different. I don't own a console so I can't speak for you guys. My understanding is that the controller is typically a tad bit less precise than the mouse and perhaps some slower rate of fire weapons with more ammo per Mac may be favored. But I'm confident that some console players can still appreciate this. But I digress, at launch. The M1907SF was quite overpowered and DICE decided to increase the spread and so on and basically nerfed it a bit. I think they also permanently increased the ammo count to 20 since it was definitely way subpar without it. And pretty much since the minor nerf, I kind of stopped using it. So what got me started again? Well, there was one match that there were just so many people using shotguns, so I decided I needed something that can dish out a ton of damage at a short time. Imagine the M16A3 and the AEK in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, but with only 20 bullets. It is that good. Using this gun kind of makes me want to go back and play those games again. So this gun, the M1907SF, holds 20 rounds and has a rate of fire of 770. For lack of a better term, like how we sort of describe every other gun in this game nowadays, it shreds. I can confidently say that this is one of the best, if not the best gun for close and medium range 1v1 to 1v2 situations. You can just mag them all 20 rounds in around 1.5 seconds and most of the time there are just not a whole lot they can do. You only need 4 rounds up close to kill someone and 5 rounds up to 50 meters and 6 rounds up to 75 meters. It's actually not bad at all. You can technically kill 5 people in one mag up close with body shots only but of course that is not too realistic. What is realistic is that you can actually down 3 people in just over 1 second and I have a few of those clips to show you. Before I get into specializations, scopes and so on, I do want to mention the drawbacks of this weapon. Well well, there is no surprise. It is the ammo count. It only has 20 rounds and most of the time you can down 1 or 2 people and you might need to reload. If you're against a large group of people, you better be quite meticulous with your positioning. Don't do what I do normally which is just run into a group of people and expect to take them all down. It normally doesn't work. With this gun you need to reload quite often. It does high burst damages and you can take down small groups of players with ease. But if the enemy team is zerging, then you just got to have some cover while you reload. I mean this applies to every weapon but the M1907 is especially true. Another downside is that the range of the weapon is somewhat limited. And I do only mean somewhat, because you can actually still make it work. You will also see me engage some enemies and even recon players with it at further ranges and as long as you do small bursts or even switch to single fire mode and tap fire it, you can easily take people down. It sorts of feel like a tad bit weaker M1A1. Of course, people with the other semi-automatic rifles like the Turner SMLE, the AGM-42, Mass-44 and so on will probably win at those ranges. This gun is no slouch also when it comes to mid-range engagements. Alright then, let's talk a bit about specializations. There are two more viable options that I would recommend. Of course, you're free to do it however you wish and can also be successful. These may be something to start with and you can adjust from there. What I like to use is to go all right side tree, starting with quick aim. This is a must for me for pretty much every gun. With every engagement, the person who is prepared to fire first has a lot of advantage. And that's why hip fire guns like the SMGs are so good at close quarters because they can simply skip the whole ADS step. Then I go down right side tree with recoil buffer that decreases the upwards recoil and then custom stock to improve accuracy and ADS while moving which also complements the last specialization which is lightning stock for faster moving while ADS. This allows me to be moving while shooting and play really aggressively. And with minimal active recoil control, this thing can be quite a laser beam even if I am strafing. This also helps me with those mid-range engagements I was talking about before, especially with the recoil buffer spec. 
And then this specialization tree I would do is to go right, left, left, right, which is quick aim and hand scripts with better hip fire accuracy, polished actions for more accuracy for sustained hip firing, and then ending up at the same spot with light and stock. This tree allows you to be even more aggressive up close with hip firing and you will probably win even more close range engagements with a tad bit decrease in effectiveness at mid to long ranges. And if you are a bayonet charge enthusiast, then feel free to put that on. As for scopes, I recommend either the iron sights or the neither sights. Having a low magnification scope allows you to control the recoil a ton better. I tried using a 3x scope and it was actually much harder to use, even at distances where it would be reasonable to do so. Now are you going to try and pick this gun up again, or have you actually been using it the whole time? Let me know down in the comment section. I personally haven't seen that many people use it. I would see one or two people use it every other time in the server, and I am actually quite surprised by how few people use it. So I would really appreciate it if you guys let me know. And I got a few more clips showcasing the weapon if you're interested, stick around if you will. I really enjoyed using it and I hope you enjoyed the clips as well. Otherwise, you ladies and gentlemen have an amazing day. Oh, three guys in one spray. Damn. Damn. Got one. Oh, three people, one spray. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh. One guy up top. That's a so far away. That's zero since the back is Shit, in here somewhere. <laughs> Damn it. Holy crap, there are tons of people. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm going to freaking... Freaking spree. Oh, there's a guy here. Oh my god! Okay. Oh, that's... Why someone who just just camping here? I get it. They're in the house. What the hell? 
Shit, 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 shit. Oh my god, so many of them. One more, one more. Right here. Damn, dude, this gun is also really good. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in here? Where are they at? There are quite a few of them in here. Oh, there's one here. Where are they at? Oh, there's no one here. Damn. Wow! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just hold it, hold it. More, 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 more outside. Left side. 